in this video, we're going to look at some ring theory proofs, uh, maybe just like one or two. So you have an idea what it's like to uh, prove uh, something in ring theory. Um, the proof we're going to look at is from a textbook I have. This is a great book. Uh, it's called Algebra. It was written by Thomas Hungerford. Um, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. So he starts off, uh, this is where the discussion of rings begins. And here we have, you know, the definition, um, some terminology, you know, what is a commutative ring? What is a ring with identity? Um, I talked about that in the previous video. Uh, but now we're going to get to to some proofs here. And let's look at this here. Let R be a ring. Uh, then 0 times A equals A times 0 equals 0 for all A and R. Let, let's go through this proof. It's a very simple statement, but... Um, Let's, let's go through the proof and let's justify the steps. So in this book, which is a wonderful book, by the way, I just got to give it away here. Just, ah, amazing. So in, in this book, um, the proof is given, but the reasons aren't specified. So we're going to specify and we're going to fill in the holes. So here's a sketch of the proof. I like how he puts sketch. Hungerford is, uh, you know, he's a very intelligent person. Um, he knows it's a sketch. So we have zero A. And that's equal to 0 plus 0 times a. So you might say, okay, well, obviously, right, 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. Yes, but why? So let's go back to the definition, which is up here, so you can get a good look at it. And in the definition of a ring, the first condition is that r under addition is an abelian group. Well, what is the identity element there? Well, that would be the number 0. And so 0 plus 0 is equal to 0, right? And that's because uh, r uh, is... Um, under addition is an abelian group. So that's the additive identity in the ring, okay? So that's what we have that. And then to go from here to the next step, so from here to here, what's happening is we're distributing from the right. You see how the A is being distributed? A times zero plus A times zero, A times zero plus A times zero. So the A is on the right. That, uh, my friends, would be condition three uh, where he says left and right, so it would be this one here, right? That would be your A, and these would be zeros, okay? And that's what we have, that's what we have down here. And then they just subtract zero A from both sides. Um, you might say, why can you do that? Aha, that is from something called um, the cancellation law uh, in groups. You can actually prove that uh, when, you, when you first learn group theory, you prove that. It's a really easy, fun proof. It's good for beginners. I actually have videos of that proof, I'm sure, on YouTube. Um, but here it's done in an additive sense. In, in my video, I do it in the multiplicative one. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. So a lot's going on there, right? In, in one equation, there's a lot happening. Um, now, if you didn't catch all that, that's okay. Um, you know, you'd have to know some group theory to understand, you know, the cancellation law and all that. So there's some details. But that's always how it is in higher level math. A lot of times you'll jump into something and you feel like you, you're missing a lot of things. Um, you just got to keep pushing forward, you know. Um, I feel like this is something that a lot of people could learn um, if you know how to write proofs. This book is a little harder, though, um, than a lot of other books. So I wouldn't say it's for beginners, but it's certainly a book that I love. Um, yeah, I hope it's been helpful and you learned some math. Take care.